This is Freedom Planet by Galaxy Trail. A uh, very enjoyable platformer. Um, not a lot of people know about this game. Just came out not too long ago, um, but I really enjoyed it. And you're about to see why not a lot of people know about it, and the people who do know about it uh, don't really care for it much at first glance. Lord Brevin. You'll notice his eyebrow is uh, reminiscent of Dr. Robotnik's mustache. This game is very, very Sonic-like. I actually enjoy it much more than Sonic. Sonic hasn't really been good in a long time, which is why this game is interesting to me, because it's made for people who still like Sonic, and the way they've tried to add a plot to Sonic the Hedgehog, which I thought was always incredibly stupid. you want with us? How shall I explain this? I'm gifting your son with my knowledge. It will make him the most powerful ruler your world has ever known. And he will answer to no one but me. <laughs> so yeah, um, our friend Lord Brevin doesn't fuck around. Prepare. He has come to this planet to kill furries, and that is what he plans to do. That's what he's doing. Except this, not this particular furry. He's brainwashing this particular furry. A crisis has befallen our world. For centuries we have depended on the Kingdom Stone, but its strength is fading. It cannot keep up with our growing demand for energy. The Prince of Shrigar, poisoned with madness over the death of his father, has spread machines across the land to steal energy from other kingdoms. Tensions are growing, and I fear that war may be inevitable. So that was our uh, our opening monologue from Edwin Tiong, uh, best known for his work in a lot of incredibly shitty Flash games. Um, he was never a bad voice actor, I like him, and I've heard he's a pretty cool guy. I don't know if this game is a step up or a step down, I mean it's a real video game this time, so that's good, but um, it's a Sonic related video game, so I don't know. Uh, so here's the character select screen. Uh, neat thing is, when you make multiple files uh, with the same character, it changes the portrait so you know which one is which. And we have two modes here, Adventure and Classic. We're choosing Adventure because Adventure shows us the story in cutscenes. Classic uh, sets them all off. You don't get any of the story, you just play the levels. So if that's what you're into, or if you've already played the story, um, or you don't like the story, which I don't blame you for not liking because it's pretty stupid. Um, but we're going to be watching it because... Uh, it's kind of fun. No. So now we are introduced to our two main characters. Uh, the two playable characters. Of the, there's actually three. Going? We'll meet the third later. Sure okay. um, not in this Can't video, but we'll meet them. Other time? Not a chance. So uh, we have Carol and Lilac. Carol is the green Fine, cat. Um, Lilac hey. is the purple uh, dragon. She is supposed to be a dragon. She does not look anything like one. But So we're going to be playing as Carol. Um, but since we're doing that, I'll show some Lilac gameplay here. That is her Dragon Boost, her main form of uh, advanced movement. She also can double jump and attack at the same time, which is called Cyclone. Part of why we won't be playing as her is because Cy she says Cyclone repeatedly. Um, not that often. Um, I'll actually talk about that later, though. So we're picking Carol. Carol has a motorcycle. I find Carol to be a more enjoyable character just because she's a little harder to play, but she, I think, is a much faster once you can. So, anyway, um, we're going to be seeing some of her attacks here. That was her flying kick. If she's on the ground, she does a similar thing, flying claw, which gives her invincibility frames while she's doing that, which is nice and useful. So we see this gas canister here. Uh, she jumps on that, and that gives her her motorcycle, which you, as Carol, always want to have if you can. Um, it lets 
you double jump, which you normally cannot, uh, to get a similar attack to Lilac's uh, Cyclone. You can ride up walls. Carol already has the advantage over Lilac of being able to wall jump and climb. Um, but now she can just directly ride up them, which is very quick. She can also accelerate to full speed whenever she wants, as long as you have the energy on your bar to do it, with your energy bar up at the top left. Um, as you're seeing here, um, she's collecting crystals. The crystals you might compare to rings in Sonic. They're not really like rings. They're like rings. They do one thing similar to rings, which is if you collect enough of them, you get an extra life. In this game, it's 200 crystals. Um, but they do not act as your health bar. Those red leaves under the power bar are your health bar. Um, as Carol watching those is very important. Uh, as any character it is, of course, because it's your health bar. But uh, they can make you lose your motorcycle if you get hurt too much. So here, we have to open up this gate. We would press that button, but we, we need something to put on the button. Otherwise, you know, we can't get through the door. Usual adventure game thing. So we get this cube here with conveniently painted arrows or engraved. We push it onto the button and we go through, you know, usual. Uh, however, if you are Lilac, because Lilac is a big cheater, uh, she dragon boosts over the door, saves quite a lot of time. So there you get to see um, Carol's hanging animation while on her motorcycle, which is sort of comical and showed for long. Here I'm getting hurt a few times, and I wasn't going to use this run, but this run is a little slower and shows off a few things I wanted to show off, so I kept it. Um, but I talk about getting hit because I'm really not sure how many hits it takes to lose your motorcycle. I think it's five, though. Um, so here is our mid-boss for the fight, for the level. Um, that is the Snake Mount, as it is called later, we find. No, we never see anyone ride it, because we kill it before it gets the chance to do that. Um, he is also the end boss of this level, and we'll see him a few times before we see him at the end. You might get hit by it a few times, but it won't really matter uh, unless you somehow have so little health that it might kill you. I don't know how you'd manage that by now. Um, so here's the uh, here's the snake once again. Shoot the fireballs at us. And here, um, this boss fight didn't go incredibly well. This is not a great run, but it's slower and shows some things off once again, so use that. So as you were seeing there, um, he'll drop boulders. Normally the boulders are a bit of a problem, they hurt you a lot, but uh, we don't actually have to worry about them if we are on Carol's motorcycle. She just plows right through them. They can't hurt her. Unless, by chance, I think one fell directly onto her head, but that did not happen here. So, we have killed the snake mount, 
He goes a little ape shit, explodes. That was totally awesome. Did and you see that? that was the first level, Dragon Valley. So, uh, thank you. Enjoy. So the thing I didn't talk about earlier is um, that when characters have voice lines in response to moves they do, including player characters and bosses, um, if they do that, they do not repeat the line if they've already said it within a certain amount of time. Uh, that's a thing that I really, really like that they did, because some of the characters, uh, mainly Lilac, if Lilac said Cyclone every single time she did Cyclone, I would probably never play as her. That would be pretty fucking annoying. Um, so yeah. Um, please do that more in video games.